Hello everyone and welcome back to another poignant episode of Celebrities Who Died Today, where we commemorate the lives of remarkable individuals who have left an indelible mark on our world. Today we stand in solemn tribute to several beloved celebrities whose recent passing has left a void in the hearts of many. But before we delve into the narratives of their extraordinary lives, we humbly request your support by hitting that like button and subscribing to our channel. Together, let us embark on a journey of remembrance, honoring their legacies and celebrating the impact they've had on our lives. Number 1. Chance Perdomo Chance Perdomo was a talented actor whose life was tragically cut short. Today, we remember his journey and the legacy he leaves behind. Chance Perdomo was born on October 19, 1996, in Los Angeles. Chance Perdomo was a beacon of talent and passion. Raised in Southampton, England, he discovered his love for acting early on. His dedication led him to the National Youth Theatre, where he honed his craft and prepared for a promising career in the arts. Chance's breakthrough came with his portrayal of Ambrose Spellman in the Netflix series Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. His performance not only captivated audiences, but also earned him a spot among BAFTA's breakthrough Brits in 2019. That same year, he received a BAFTA nomination for Best Actor for his role in Killed by My Debt, a gripping docudrama that showcased his incredible range and depth as an actor. But Chance was more than just a rising star on screen. He was known for his insatiable appetite for life, his warmth, and his genuine kindness. Those who knew him felt his passion for the arts and his enthusiasm for every role he took on. In 2023, Chance joined the cast of Gen V, a spin-off of the popular series The Boys Here, he played Andre Anderson, a character with the power to manipulate magnetic forces. The show was a hit, and Chance's performance was a standout, further solidifying his place in the entertainment industry. Tragically, on March 30, 2024, Chance Perdomo's life was taken in a motorcycle accident at the young age of 27. The news of his passing sent shockwaves through the acting community and among fans worldwide. His untimely death is a stark reminder of the fragility of life and the impact one person can have on so many. Chance's legacy is not just in the characters he brought to life but also in the inspiration he provided to aspiring actors. He often spoke about the importance of hard work and following one's passion, rather than seeking fame. His message resonated with many especially when he returned to his former secondary school in Southampton to share his experiences and encourage students to pursue their dreams. As we reflect on Chance Perdomo's life, we are reminded of his vibrant spirit, his dedication to his craft, and the joy he brought to all who knew him. His performances will continue to inspire, and his memory will live on in the hearts of those he touched. In closing, we extend our deepest condolences to Chance's family, friends, and fans. May his story encourage us all to live fully, love deeply, and chase our dreams with the same fervor he did. Chance Perdomo, you will be deeply missed, but never forgotten. Number 2. Pavel Svojanovsky Pavel Svojanovsky was a remarkable athlete, whose legacy in the world of rowing is truly inspiring. Pavel Svojanovsky was born on August 12, 1943, in Otrokovice. Pavel's journey began in a small town in the protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia, but his ambitions were anything but small. From a young age, Pavel, alongside his younger brother Aldrich, showed a natural talent for rowing, a sport that demands not just physical strength, but an unbreakable will. The Svojanovsky brothers quickly made a name for themselves, becoming a formidable duo in the coxed pairs category. Their synergy in the water was unmatched, and it wasn't long before they started making waves on the international stage. In 1969, at the European Rowing Championships in Klagenfurt, Pavel and Aldrich clinched their first major victory, setting the stage for a decade of dominance. They didn't just win, they won against the reigning Olympic champions, showcasing their potential to the world. Their success continued as they went on to win two Olympic medals a silver in the 1972 Munich Games and a bronze in the 1976 Montreal Games. These victories were not just medals, they were testaments to their dedication and the countless hours of training that went into perfecting their craft. Pavel's career was also marked by a World Rowing Championship gold in 1974 in Lucerne and two European Championship medals, one in 1969 and another in 1971. Each medal was a story, a battle, 
and a triumph that added to the legend of the Svojanovsky brothers. Off the water, Pavel was known for his humility and sportsmanship. He was a mentor to many and an inspiration to all who knew him. His contributions to the sport of rowing extended beyond his athletic achievements, as he was actively involved in promoting and supporting the next generation of rowers. Sadly, Pavel Svojanovsky passed away on March 31, 2024, at the age of 80. His passing marks the end of an era, but the beginning of a legacy that will live on forever. Pavel's life story is not just about the medals and the victories, it's about the spirit of perseverance, the love for a sport, and the bond between two brothers who rode their way into history. As we remember Pavel, let us not just mourn his loss, but celebrate his life and the indelible mark he left on the world of sports. Pavel Svojanovsky, a true champion in every sense of the word, may you rest in peace. Number 3. Nijol Sardanite Nijol Sardanite was a remarkable woman whose courage and resilience left an indelible mark on history. Nijol Sardanite was born on July 22, 1938, in Kornas, Lithuania. Nijol Sardanite's journey was one of defiance and faith. She completed her education at the Jonas Biliunas Secondary School in Enixiai and later pursued nursing in Vilnius. But her life took a turn when she chose to stand against the oppressive Soviet regime. In 1956, Sardanite joined the Congregation of the Servants of the Blessed Immaculate Virgin Mary, embarking on a path that would lead her to become a symbol of Lithuania's resistance. Her unwavering commitment to her faith and her nation saw her become an active anti-Soviet activist. Her most notable act of defiance was her involvement with the Chronicle of the Catholic Church in Lithuania, an underground publication that exposed the Soviets' persecution of the Church. In 1975, this act of bravery led to her arrest and a sentence of three years in a high-security correctional labor colony, followed by another three years of exile. Despite the hardships, Sardanite's spirit remained unbroken. Upon her return to Lithuania, she continued her work with the Chronicle, enduring further persecution by Soviet security. Her resilience was a beacon of hope for many, and her actions helped to inspire a nation's fight for freedom. On August 23, 1987, Alongside fellow activists, she organized a rally at the Adam Mickiewicz Monument in Vilnius to commemorate the Ribbentrop-Molotov Pact. This rally marked a significant moment in history, as it was the first directed against the Soviet regime since the introduction of Gorbachev's Glasnost policy. The public singing of the Lithuanian national anthem after decades of oppression was a powerful statement of resistance and unity. For her contributions to freedom, democracy, and human rights, Sardanate was awarded the Freedom Prize in 2018, becoming the first female in history to receive this honor. While her humility and dedication to her cause were evident when she questioned the worthiness of such honors, attributing her strength to a higher power. Nijol Sardanate passed away on Easter Sunday, March 31, 2024, at the age of 85. Her passing on such a symbolic day reminds us of the resurrection of hope and freedom she fought for throughout her life. As we reflect on the life of Nijol Sardanite, let us remember her not just as a nun or an activist, but as a beacon of light in the darkest of times. Her legacy continues to inspire and guide us in our pursuit of a just and free world. Number 4. Tadeusz Kuzi. Tadeusz Izbinu Kusi was a man of faith and dedication. Tadeusz Kusi was born on December 2, 1951, in Sisin, Poland. Tadeusz's journey was one marked by devotion and service. From the moment he joined the Franciscan Order in Katowice in 1968, Tadus committed his life to the spiritual path. His perpetual vows in 1974 were a testament to his unwavering faith, and his ordination to the priesthood on April 15, 1976, marked the beginning of a new chapter in his mission to serve. Tadus's heart was always with the people. After serving in a parish in Katowice, Panuniki, he felt a calling to go beyond his homeland's borders, in 1979, he became a missionary in Zaire, now known as the Democratic Republic of the Congo, bringing hope and spiritual guidance to those in need. His pursuit of knowledge led him to Paris, France, where from 1986 to 1989, he studied at the Institute of Science and Theology of Religions. But Africa called him back, and he returned to the Central African Republic, where he continued his mission as an educator 
and a leader in the Archdiocese of Bangui. In 2014, Pope Francis recognized Tadaras' dedication and appointed him Bishop Cogitor of Kaga Bandoro. His consecration on August 15, 2014, was a celebration of his commitment to his faith and his community. A year later, he was named Bishop of the Roman Catholic Diocese of Kaga Bandoro, a role he embraced with the same passion he had shown throughout his life. Unfortunately, on March 31, 2024, Bishop Tadas Cusi passed away at the age of 72 in Cagabandoro. His death came on Easter Sunday, a day symbolizing hope and resurrection, which fittingly reflects the legacy he leaves behind. Bishop Cusi's life was a beacon of light for many. His motto, With You and For You, Jesus encapsulated his life's work living for others and for a higher purpose. He may have left this world, but his impact remains, inspiring us to live with compassion and purpose. As we remember Bishop Tadus Cusi, let us carry forward the message of love and service he embodied. His life reminds us that one person's dedication can touch the lives of many and that faith can move mountains. Number 5. Hilbram Duna. Hilbram Duna was a name synonymous with excellence in Indonesian broadcasting. His journey, marked by passion and resilience, has left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Hilbram Duna was born on October 30, 1975. Hilbram was the youngest of three siblings. His father, a prosecutor from Padang, often moved due to his job, but eventually, the family settled in Jakarta. This city became the backdrop for Hilbram's educational pursuits, culminating in a degree from Trisakti University's Faculty of Engineering. But it was the world of broadcasting that truly captivated Hilbram. His voice, a familiar comfort, graced the airwaves of Hard Rock FM, where he honed his craft from 1999 to 2005. His transition to television brought his talents to a wider audience, hosting shows that ranged from sports to motivational talk shows. Hilbram's personal life was just as fulfilling. In 2004, he married the love of his life, Denny Luciana, on a leap day that seemed to promise an extraordinary journey ahead. Together, they celebrated two decades of marriage and raised two beautiful children, Ranu and Verpia, who have grown into remarkable young adults. Tragically, Hilbram's vibrant life was cut short. After a valiant battle with cancer, he passed away in the early hours of January 31, 2024. His departure at the age of 48 left a void a. Hilbram Duna was more than a presenter, he was a beacon of inspiration. His books on public speaking and motivation speak volumes of his desire to uplift others. His legacy is not just in the shows he hosted or the words he wrote, but in the lives he touched. As we reflect on Hilbram's story, we are reminded of the power of perseverance and the impact one individual can have. His voice may have fallen silent, but his message endures. Let us carry forward the lessons he taught us to live with purpose, to speak with passion, and to leave a legacy of love. Number 6. Barbara Rush Barbara Rush was a remarkable individual, an American actress whose talent graced both the silver screen and television. Barbara Rush was born on January 4, 1927, in Denver, Colorado. Her journey into the world of acting began at the University of California, Santa Barbara, where she graduated in 1948. With a passion for the stage, she performed at the Lubero Theatre, and the Pasadena Playhouse before making her film debut in 1950's The Goldbergs. Rush's career took a significant turn when she won the Golden Globe Award for Most Promising Newcomer in 1954. For her role in the science fiction film It Came From Outer Space this accolade marked the beginning of a series of successful roles in films like The Young Philadelphians, The Young Lions Robin and The Seven Hoods in Hombre. Beyond the big screen, Barbara Rush also made a name for herself in television. She became a regular performer in TV movies, miniseries and shows like Peyton Place and All My Children. Her versatility as an actress allowed her to portray a wide range of characters, from polished high society figures to willful women of means. In her later years, Rush returned to her roots in theater. She earned the Sarah Siddons Award for her performance in 40 Carats and brought her one-woman play A Woman of Independent Means to Broadway. Sadly, Barbara Rush passed away on March 31, 2024, at the age of 97. Her legacy, however, 
continues to live on through her memorable performances and the impact she had on the entertainment industry. As we reflect on her life, we remember Barbara Rush not just as an actress, but as a woman of independent means who inspired many with her dedication to her craft. She will be remembered as a true star, whose light continues to shine in the hearts of her fans. Number 7. Casey Benjamin Casey Benjamin was born on October 10, 1978, in South Jamaica, Queens, New York City. Casey's journey with music began at the tender age of eight, when he picked up the saxophone. His passion for music led him to the prestigious Fiorello H. LaGuardia High School of Music Art and Performing Arts, and later, the new school for jazz and contemporary music in Manhattan. It was here that Casey met Robert Glasper, a meeting that would shape the future of contemporary jazz. Casey Benjamin wasn't just a saxophonist, he was a vocoderist, keyboardist, producer, and songwriter. His talents shone brightly as a member of the Robert Glasper Experiment, which won a Grammy Award for Best RB Album for their album Black Radio. But Casey's influence didn't stop there. He was also one half of the funk-pop new wave duo Heavy, with vocalist Nicky Gieland and a member of Stefan Harris's band Blackout. Throughout his career, Casey worked with a constellation of stars at the intersection of jazz, hip-hop, and RB. His collaborations included artists like Roy Hargrove, Betty Carter, Derek Hodge, Victor Bailey, Chris Bowers, Kendrick Lamar, Nas, Q-Tip, Mos Def, Lupe Fiasco, Kanye West, Busta Rhymes, Diddy, Heavy D, Consequence, DJ Logic, Wyclef Jean, Bilal, Mary J, Blige, John Legend, and Beyonce. His versatility also led him to work with rockers Vernon Reed and Melvin Gibbs. In 2011, Casey was the keyboard saxophonist for Patrick Stump's live solo project tour. His discography as a sideman is impressive, featuring albums like Evolution by Stefan Harris and Black Radio 2 by Robert Glasper. Sadly, the music world dimmed when Casey Benjamin passed away in March 2024, at the age of 45. His death left a void in the hearts of many, but his music continues to resonate with us. Casey's legacy is not just in the notes he played, but in the inspiration he provided to musicians and fans alike. As we remember Casey, let's celebrate the beauty he brought into the world through his music. His innovative spirit and fearless approach to blending genres created a unique sound that will echo through the ages. Casey Benjamin, a true maestro of his craft, may have left us, but his rhythm beats on in the melody of life. Number 8. Barbara Baldavin. Barbara Baldavin was a remarkable individual. We honor her legacy, her talent, and the impact she left on the world of television and film. Barbara Baldavin was born on October 18, 1938, in Quincy, Massachusetts. From a young age, Barbara showed a keen interest in the performing arts, which paved the way for her future career in television and film. Her journey began in the 1960s, when she mainly performed in dramatic roles, showcasing her versatility and depth as an actress. One of her most notable roles was in the iconic series Star Trek, where she played Angela Martine in the season one episode Balance of Terror, and Shaw leave her character left an indelible mark on the franchise, and she returned for the series finale, Turnabout Intruder as LT. Lisa, a communications officer and court reporter. But Barbara's talents weren't limited to acting. She transitioned into casting, where she contributed to the success of shows like Trapper John, MD and Dynasty. Her keen eye for talent helped shape the landscape of television during the 80s and 90s. Barbara's personal life was just as rich and fulfilling. She was married to Joseph D. Agosta, a casting director she met on the set of Star Trek. Their partnership was both personal and professional, a testament to their shared love for the craft. Sadly, Barbara Baldavin passed away on March 31, 2024, at the age of 85. She died of congestive heart failure at her home in Manhattan Beach, California. Her passing marked the end of an era, but her work continues to inspire actors and casting directors alike. Barbara's story is one of passion, dedication, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. She may have left us, but her legacy lives on through the countless lives she touched, both on screen and off. As we remember Barbara today, let's celebrate the memories she created, the paths she paved, and the hearts she warmed. As we draw the curtains on this chapter of remembrance, let us carry forward the stories and legacies of these extraordinary individuals in our hearts. 
If you found this video insightful and moving, we invite you to honor their memories by sharing them with your loved ones and spreading their remarkable stories far and wide. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more heartfelt tributes to celebrities who died today. Until next time, thank you for joining us in commemorating these unforgettable lives.